mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. So it's generally true that alkynes are extremely reactive. But I think we ought to demonstrate that, don't you? C triple bond C. Getting worried, Paul? Paul always sits in the wrong place. These are very reactive substances. What I have in here is a very small amount of acetylene, maybe a gram or so. And then I put some oxygen in there too. So the reaction we're going to do is uh, acetylene plus oxygen makes water and CO2 and a little bit of heat, quite a bit of heat in a small amount of time. And so if it's true that alkynes are very reactive, we should be able to get this thing to do something interesting. Sorry, I didn't bring enough for you. <laughs> Okay. Frankly, this one scares the hell out of me. you only come for the explosions. <laughs> well, that's okay. So do I. I love things like that. I don't know about you, but I can feel that in my chest. That's actually, that's about half a gram of acetylene, like half a liter. So the amount of energy contained in there is tremendous, but also that energy is released extremely quickly because of that excess of electrons between those two carbon atoms. <laughs> 